How's it going guys? Welcome back to Hellstorm Wargaming and today is a very exciting day because there's some drama and I'm not at the center of it for once. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm talking about a recent article by the the well beloved wargaming website known as Spiky Bits, which is essentially just a hit piece against another creator on YouTube known as Juan Hidalgo or JH Miniatures. I was going to make a, vid a video about the original drama, but Discourse Miniatures beat me to the chip pulse, so they did a really, really good video regarding all the um, original jam which I'll link in the description and I'm just going to be going over a quick brief of what's happened and then what's happened since then. So quick recap for those who don't know what's going on. On November the 1st, Spiky Bits, a wargaming website that posts articles about pretty much anything they can find in wargaming hobby, posted an article about Juan Hidalgo, another YouTuber who made a review video for the contrast equivalent army paint to speed paint. Army paint speed paint is a, a paint just like Games Workshop contrast paint. You spray white and slap paint over the top and then your paint is highlighted, based and washed all at the same time. Juan recently made a video regarding Express Colour by Vallejo, which is another competing line very similar to the previous two paints I've just mentioned, but by a Spanish company known as Vallejo. Juan mentioned that they had worked with Vallejo for over a year on the product when they released the video on the 23rd of October of this year, but that coincides with them making a, a video reviewing Army Painter Speed Paint whilst they were also working for another company. The problem that Spiky Bits have pointed out is that Juan made a review that essentially pointed out a reactivation issue that Army Paint Speed Paints have where they reactivate with water once they are fully dried and says that has sabotaged uh, the Army Painter Speed Paint launch and they, they, the only reason they did that was because they're working with Vallejo with their express colour line so they could have a better launch and there's probably a financial incentive to do that. That's the drama, that's the tea. So what happened after that? Now this initial article talks about like saying Juan Hidalgo invented the reactivation issue even though Starley was the first one to point it out and multiple other content creators who reviewed the army pair speed paints said that it was a big issue that once it's dried it reactivates when it gets wet and at the time army painter said that it was a known known feature of army paint because that's not how it's supposed to be used but then later down the line, once the full line has launched and they've recently hired a paint development team and they spoke about it in their own videos and they are since like redeveloping the product so it doesn't have this issue anymore. We've reformulated the resin. We've actually changed the resin that we're using in our speed paints. We found out this resin, this particular type of very, very high quality resin does not reactivate. Now, I'm not saying that it, it won't ever do it again uh, or bleed through or anything like that. But the tests we've done uh, so far uh, are, are very much towards that. I'm in paint and I'm like super open about what they're doing with their paints and I think that's really, really cool. Anyway, the article goes on. Content creator Juan Hidalgo uh, sort of invented the reactivation issue about how the supposedly speed paint is defective and even went on to say that they stay in the reactivation phase for days on end, which is just untrue. In Juan's video, they say that they he leaves it drying for multiple hours, like eight hours, 12 hours, etc. And the speed paint does still reactivate by saying that Juan re invented the reactivation issue, even though multiple creators also pointed out the reactivation issue and Army Painter pointed out that they're trying to work it out of their speed paint line. So it doesn't reactivate anymore. Kind of proves that this line is just false. And again, it just it just paints Juan in a really, really bad light. And it's just like it's just lies basically the, the the article goes on to say that Juan essentially tried to criticize army painter and try to uh, disrupt their launch because they, he was already working with Vallejo on Express Color that was launched later in the same year. As you can see from the Army Painter Speed Paint review came out in February 2020 and then Express Color came out on October 23rd of this year and after a year working and testing is the kind of the line they're going for that Juan must have been working on Express Color for at least three months before they filmed and put out a review of Army Painter Speed Paint. So this is evidence that they were trying to sabotage the launch of Army Painter Speed Paint. But then the article goes on to talk about other instances that uh, Juan has had recently where someone uh, criticized his painting and said that it looked faked because they were working with Vallejo Paints. And uh, they're trying to say that like, maybe it is fake because one random person on Facebook said maybe the picture doesn't look real because the photograph that they used made it look like it was like 3D, a 3D render or a 3D picture when it wasn't. It was clearly a model, but it was just a very, very nice picture and a very, very good paint job. And then they go on to say like that the whole reason that Juan is in this space is because their their like <laughs> day job um, was struggling at the time. And they're trying to say that now because their day job is struggling, they're trying to come into the wargaming space and sabotage everything to try and get a leg up and make money, which is just 
it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And the and the ir irony of this article that says perhaps this explains his motives to visit to this space and make it go of it full time. Everyone has the right to provide for their family, but at the end of the day, how you go about it is almost as important as the content itself. And the irony of this statement or this sentence is just louder than anything. But this is just so hypocritical, it's unreal. Because the whole point of this is that <laughs> it's just a hit piece for clicks, you know, for for views on their on their hor horrendous adverts on this website. Again, like I'm on YouTube, I make ad revenue, but there's like having adverts in a video, and there's for example, I feel like I'm in 1990. I'm trying to find out what I'm looking at just because of the amount of adverts that we're looking at here, which is, you know, you got to get that bag, but it's not exactly easy on the eyes. Anyway, obviously, Juan was quite rightly pissed off about the whole situation because, again, it's just assassination of his character, you know. Most of the article is just outright wrong, outright lies, or is just, like, hearsay and just, like, trying to, like, speculate about saying Juan is a bad person for the community when clearly they aren't. They just pointed out an issue. Again, maybe they should have made that clear, made it clear that they're working with Vallejo at the time they were working with Armpaint Speed Paints, whether again to the company, Army Painter in question, or they should have made it uh, clear to the audience that they were working with another company. But, you know, maybe in hind hindsight is a beautiful thing. And I don't think the speed paint issue was invented when multiple people pointed it out. What well, Again, as I mentioned, Starley from Taylor Paints pointed out initially. And then Juan pointed it out and got a, got a good amount of views. But it's not like Juan is the only person who reviewed them and said they were bad. It's just one of the reviews that said there was an issue. And then they went on to try and fix it as well. So Army Painter weighed in on the whole situation. And they said that we believe that content creators lift up this hobby and community. It's why we started the paint development team, which I mentioned is the uh, who are working on the new speed paint line on and are working to get rid of the every activation issue, which they mention as an issue themselves. And they said when we send products to create content creators media we only ask for a fair shot and honest opinion because in the, the day that's what we and our customers deserve sadly not everyone is going to love our products the way we do but that inspires us to do better someone said to them do you then condemn the allegation by spiky bits against one so essentially do you agree with spiky bits trying to do this or are you like uh, condemning the spiky bits actions and they said assassination attempts should be kept to the tabletop juan has a right to his opinion we've had private comms and i think we all hope to get back to doing what we love gaming and painting so essentially they've weighed in army painted weighed in the situation and kind of condemned spiky bits about the situation and probably said nah nah bro that probably wasn't a great idea was it well that was probably yeah <laughs> that's probably a bit dumb of you it's it's really weird for spiky bits to take such like a high ground when and i know why spiky bits have done it it's because it's good content and this is probably a lot of traffic they're getting because most people who are well versed in the Warhammer gaming community have been around for a while will know not to look at spiky bits just because it's a, like an awful user experience and again a lot of the content that spiky bits posts is uh, just marketing material which can get quite annoying when it's not really an article it's just a, a, a marketing material to sort of something like an affiliate link or an Amazon affiliate link which you know gotta get that bag i totally understand but people can find that quite annoying anyway back to it after army painter and juan obviously had their own response about this then they essentially spiky bits had their own response and made an editor's note saying hey y'all we've updated our article about ja miniatures with his colorful responses you can read about it here and then said welcome to everyone over coming over to comment from uh juan hidalgo's twitter but obviously juan was annoyed and, it, and rightfully so but as you can see like i don't know if how many of you at home use twitter but when you have eight likes and 37 comments, it usually means it's because you fucked up. More likes than comments means it's okay. More comments than likes is usually quite bad. Essentially, they updated the article. So this is updated yesterday now with um, with a few more colorful tweets from Juan, which is, again, I understand why they'd come out with these sorts of tweets, but they left this big editor's note. We're not disputing that reactivation is real as even the army painter has addressed it, but they say that we're not disputing the activation is real, even though in the initial article, as we've got, because we've got, a, we've got, we've got receipts. The content creator Juan from JH sort of invented the reactivation issue about how supposedly speed paint is defective in quotation marks. This is on November the 1st, but then on November the 3rd, they backtrack and say that we're not disputing that the reactivation is real is even the army page has addressed it. So the, the, the black backlash has clearly got to spiky bits, because they've backtracked and then deleted all of these points saying that Juan made it up when he clearly didn't. Well, they've gone to say the point we made that was Juan Hidalgo was the first major YouTube content creator to reveal the issue, although Starley wrote a post and made a video shortly before Juan, while at the same time potentially failing to disclose a possible conflict of interest. Now, this is the only line of this article I can agree with. Maybe Juan should have addressed 
um, the fact they were working with Vallejo, if they were working with Vallejo at that time. Not to mention that if you pan the product you're reviewing while working for the competition, develop your own version of it, that also may look suspicious. Again, I, I can't argue with this point. The problem is, is that Spikey Bits have gone in and tried to character assassinate Juan on lots of other issues, such as his painted ability, whether he's faking, putting out pictures of fake models, which clearly isn't, and we'll see a that, why is that in a minute. And, and also criticizing him because his business was failing in the middle of the pandemic, like most people's businesses were, essentially trying to say that they're coming over here to sabotage companies to make money, which is obviously wrong. And it's just outright, li outright lies and just really not, it's not relevant to this conversation. And that's what's kind of dumb. So I said Juan pointed out that, uh, well, Rob Baird pointed out that um, someone was criticizing his painting ability and saying that it looked like a 2D image because he posted a bust and then went on to post a 360 video of the bust to prove that he was painting it by himself and left a very kind note on the back, which in all fairness, fair play to Juan because that is the type of humor I love to see. But essentially, they just copied and pasted everything that Juan has posted and then, and then Pride because they've been blocked on Twitter, which is quite funny. And and, and also, Juan made a beautiful shirt. So it says, Stick it to the absolute worst of the hobby community with this elegant and lush merch collection. Help me out in the process. Available winning tank top, child baby, and mugs for your cup of tea with style. And um, it says, Juan did all the miniatures on the back. And it says, The the message you left on the back of the miniature on the front of the shirt, which is absolutely hilarious. But so basically, like, after essentially crying about the fact that it was blocked on Twitter and Juan was still going on about it, which is understandable. Um, Spiky Bit says, I can handle criticism. However, the response I've received is something else entirely. Publishing an editorial addressing a potential conflict of interest is one thing. Rallying your audience to attack us with profanity-laced posts and out of context trees shots from a 2000 word article, as Juan did, is inexcusable. We stand by original posts and added the following editor's note to it, which explains uh, the point we made in the article itself. Rallying your audience to attack us with profanity lace post is obviously not what Juan was trying to do. He was obviously ranting because he was annoyed because someone was trying to insult him and trying to insult his character um, out of pocket, essentially just like just like out of nowhere. And then Rob has posted the editor's note. Well, Spiky Bits should be. It's his face. That's what I'm saying. Spiky Bits has posted the um, the thing. But what's quite funny is it says that I can handle criticism. And the problem is, is as soon as you go to the replies, obviously we've got Kiriof. Um, there's there's quite some quite colourful replies. But you see a lot of this. This reply was hidden by the original tweet author. And then you're blocked right after. Um, so this is Karo from Goonhammer. We've got this guy blocked, essentially. Uh, all of these, unable to see. Another reply hidden. John blocked. Cinderfall Gaming blocked. And it's kind of like, it's all right saying, <laughs> I can handle criticism. But when you have criticism and you're blocking the person who's giving you criticism, it's kind of, it kind of uh, really, really minimizes the point you're trying to make. When there's all of these replies and all you're doing is blocking people who are criticizing you when you're saying you could, you're happy to be criticized. And you can see all these. You can't hide them on Twitter. You can look and go through all of the replies that are all quite negative from some some quite well-known creators such as Darcy Bonner Creations. And there's quite a few. Even Pete the Wargamer. Pete the Wargamer, who's one of the nicest people I've ever met, has been blocked by Spiky Bits because they um, <laughs> gave some relatively sound advice, to be honest. And and it's just it's just it's just laughable that they can come out and say I can handle criticism, and then you just get this big box of just all the hidden replies and um, just blocking people in the comments section below. Even on their Facebook page, which we posted the original article two days ago, if you go to all comments and it says 18 comments but there's only like seven that are all condemning the article pretty much. This just shows that all the comments have been hidden or deleted. And then there's another one as well with the update. If we go to all comments, there's 53 comments and then there's only like seven comments actually available. So again, it shows that they're either being deleted, hidden or both. Um, so overall, people are just really angry at Spiky Bits for coming out with this hit piece and not really apologizing for it, essentially trying to character assassinate Juan for um making making an probably an honest mistake now we could say that what juan did was malicious but again it's not like they they were the only person that were making content regarding the speed paint issue the reactivation issue at the time and you could say yeah maybe juan did help out uh, vallejo uh with their express color line but <laughs> it seems very it's kind of laughable because the whole point the, the the point the only point in this article i can agree with is just undermined by 
everything else that's in it and it's just so badly written it goes from making and trying to make a decent point a decent not a good point a decent point and then just goes off off the rails and it's just it's pretty wild um to watch it happen and it's been pretty crazy the past few days of it happening and everyone just coming out and once again condemning spiky bits for something else so um if you want my opinion spiky bits i just quit while you're ahead say you're sorry um make your point once again we reason we made this we reason that we made the initial article was potentially that uh, juan failed to disclose his work in another company but everything else we sincerely apologize for and that would be my um advice and i'd also stop stealing people's content and putting affiliate links on it but that's another conversation for another day but what are your thoughts i appreciate this is a long one a long drama one and i think i've pretty much covered everything and gone over everything again i'll leave a link to this course miniatures initial video uh, regarding the uh, the initial drama just so you can go catch up there and uh, again a begrudgingly i will leave a link to spiky bits just make sure you got ad blocker turned on <laughs> so that's it thank you much for watching and hopefully uh, i'll catch you in the next one and maybe we'll have some more drama coming soon who knows it's an exciting time to be a war gamer and i'll catch you next time bye just a quick note on the end, I was just about to post this video, but there's been an update on r slash warmer40k, uh, which have since blacklisted spiky bits over this situation, banning Rob Bear completely from the Reddit. They've, they've also made links to spiky bits as a whole forbidden using the auto moderator. So, um, yeah, make of that what you will. <laughs>